Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCarrick and welcome to my channel. Just want to say I appreciate y'all being here and taking your time to, to watch to see what I'm going to be creating here. So what I have is a Lazy Susan and this is from Ikea. And what I do is I, um, I always tape the back and put a piece of plastic on to keep it protected as I'm painting the, the top and the sides. With this one, I not only varnished it, I put a coat of kills on top to really put a barrier between the wood and the paint so I don't have any problems. This is going to be going into somebody's dining room or kitchen uh, countertop and I don't want to have it, I, I want to have earth tones and I want to have it look like it blends in with the whatever, whatever the decor is of that home. That's why I'm using such neutral color palette here. So what I've got are my colors, I'll call them out as I go. I have my flow paint so when I get to the point where I'm getting ready to stretch, I'll have that as well. I've got my cup. And so without any further ado, let's just start diving straight in. And let's see, do I, where do I want to start? It's maybe not directly in the center. I don't have to be dead center. I can spin this thing around a little bit and see what we get. I'm gonna seal up the cup a little bit with a little extra paint and coat. Let's see what we get. Let's see what the painting people, gods, give us today. All right, so I'm going to start with some bronze, because this is a very reactive color. I'm gonna, that's my iridescent bronze by Golden. This is um, mostly obsidian by Deco Art. Actually, it is Obsidian by Dick Art. This is Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold by Golden and Treasure Gold's Fire Opal. Now, in the, the ones I've done before, the, the bronze has come out very bossy. So I'm trying to be very uh, mindful of that. Here's my 24 karat gold by Deco Art combined with Golden's Iridescent Gold. And the higher you pour, the more you're going to get a churn. A churn in there of colors. This is the new color in the palette. This is uh, Golden's Thalo, Thalo Turquoise. And a lot of these colors are repeats because I happen to have the paint and I might as well use it. Here's back to the white. And now the light blue. This is a new color to the palette. This is Amsterdam's sky blue light. I'm back around the bend. So I'm going to fast forward here. Since you've already seen me lay down the colors once, I'm going to do it at least two or three more times here. But I just want to save some time. And you'll notice that as I go through uh, I'm occasionally changing the order just slightly here and there. And I want to point out also that I did level out the Lazy Susan before I started. And it just, the paint just starts to wander on its own. And then once it starts to wander, the weight of the paint makes the spinner underneath want to start rotating. So it's not like I'm not level here. It's just the paint is causing the spinner underneath to be off balance. And right there, I probably shouldn't have laid down some of that white for flow paint because I do have flow paint that's kind of a greenish color that you'll see me using uh, upcoming. All right, I'm going to be quiet for now and we'll let the music play and I'll pipe in when I need to. Okay.
clear the decks. Get down the flow paint. So to lay down the flow paint, I'm gonna go on fast forward again. And once again, you need the flow paint to help the composition spread evenly across the top of the Lazy Susan so it doesn't get all muddled uh, and roll over itself. I do wanna throw in here, especially for the beginners, this is a perfect technique because the recipe is simple and the execution is pretty simple as well. It's a good place to start and get your confidence. I'm not thrilled about what happened there. But I gotta, gotta center this up a little bit. I hope I can get that off. Oh, torch it. Torch time. When you're torching, you want to move the, keep the torch moving. You don't want to ever stay in one place very long. And all you're trying to do here is get the bubbles. Because there's a lot of bubbles that have been churning around in this. Gentle, gentle spin. I want to throw in here that that green paint that I use for my flow paint is just my strained scraps that I've picked up off the mat from prior pours. Oh, this one's cool. That turquoise is opening up so nice. It's like a grab bag. You're just not sure what you're going to get, but you're happy when the results happen. I got to get that spot off somehow. But I got more spinning to do. I'm gonna give a little more speed to it. It's fairly centered. It's moving. Don't want to go too fast. Really would like to get this off. I think it's gonna get there. So going forward, I'm going to cut out a little bit of the spinning. You see the pace at which I'm spinning at, and I'm going to just save some time with that. Give it a chance. Don't be impatient. I love that Nicolazzo. I'm going to play with that. You haven't seen me play with these because I've loved the way they've turned out. Oh my God, that turquoise in there is radiant. Come on, just keep coming off. What I keep talking about is trying to get off that flow paint that I had excess of in the beginning. It actually doesn't bother me that much, but let's do a palette knife on it. Yeah, the Nicolazzo, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. I'll have to check the middle, make sure I got enough paint off before I go too much farther. The way you do that is you put a little toothpick in the middle. So if you leave too much paint on, you will get cracking for sure. Where is it? It's all but gone. So just a little dab in the middle and an inconspicuous spot. So let me just go right where the white is. So I can probably spin a little bit more. It's about a, mm, that's about a 32nd of an inch. So it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty good. Sides covered. Check your sides. Let's clean it up. Let's run the palette knife along the sides to stop it from the paint from continuing to pull. 
because as you stretch it, the paint will flow to the sides and there's still that, that force that's running it to the outside even when you stop. It's just physics. You want to get that bottom cleaned up. Matter of fact, I don't know if I want to play with that or just leave it the way it is. This spot that was bothering me, that was my flow paint. But fortunately, I used a green. It kind of goes with the rest of this. Still cleaning up the bottom. Just gorgeous. Let's give it another torch. Keep it moving. The turquoise is to die for. Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, I, I hate to say this, but I think I like this better than the bloom. So I'm just gonna keep cleaning up the bottom a little bit. I think it's pretty done. I know the middle's gonna be plenty devoid of paint. And I just as soon get this thing put to bed where I know it's level and let it develop. So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And if you're new here and you enjoyed it, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, and you'll get all my latest art tutorials. At the very end, I will link my Lazy Susan playlist so you can see other color combinations and other creations, including bloom creations. And I think that's all for now. So until next time, everybody, take care and stay curious.